The artificial intelligence landscape has reached a pivotal moment. Google has unveiled a revolutionary system where our AI teams enhance their own performance autonomously, delivering remarkably powerful results. OpenAI has launched their latest powerhouse model O3 Pro, which is already surpassing Claude and Gemini in doctoral level evaluations. Sam Altman declares we've entered the superintelligence era, what he terms a gradual singularity. Meanwhile, Meta refuses to lag behind. As Zuckerberg commits fully to establishing a covert new research facility, pursuing objectives beyond artificial general intelligence, recruiting the scale AI founder to spearhead this initiative. This genuinely feels like we're approaching the final phase before AI transforms into something beyond our complete comprehension. Google's mass framework the dawn of self-optimizing AI Teams Google's latest mass framework represents perhaps the most underestimated advancement towards superintelligence we've witnessed. Here's the fundamental concept. Traditionally, an AI model focuses on a single specialized function, whether calculating mathematical problems, processing written content, or creating computer code. When you combine several models with distinct Responsibilities. You create an AI agent, a collaborative system where each model contributes to solving increasingly sophisticated challenges. But imagine extending this concept further. What if you connected numerous complete AI agents, coordinating them as one massive unified system? This is precisely what Google's innovative mass framework accomplishes. It establishes a collective of AI collectives all synchronized and addressing intricate tasks with greater speed, intelligence and minimal human oversight. The significance lies in this. Typically, coordinating AI agents requires explicit instructions for each component and their sequential operations. This involves crafting precise prompts and orchestrating their interactions. Similar to directing a complex performance where a single misstep disrupts the entire sequence. The remarkable aspect is that minor instruction modifications can completely shatter the system's effectiveness. Mass revolutionizes this approach entirely. Rather than predicting optimal prompts and agent configurations, it handles the complex work automatically. Mass determines which prompts and agent combinations produce superior outcomes, then optimizes the complete system through three phases. Phase 1. It enhances individual agent prompts. Each AI receives refined instructions with better guidance, like approach this systematically or concrete examples to emulate. Phase 2. It experiments with various methods of linking these agents essentially constructing the optimal framework for collaboration. Instead of testing every possibility randomly, mass concentrates on configurations showing genuine potential, eliminating wasteful attempts. Phase 3. After establishing the structure, mass returns to refine prompts again. This time it examines the entire ecosystem, adjusting instructions so agents not only perform well independently but excel when working collectively. The outcomes are compelling. In evaluation tests like mathematical reasoning and hotpot QA, MASS optimized systems significantly outperformed conventional multi-agent arrangements. Through prompt improvements alone, MASS achieved 84% accuracy on mathematical challenges, substantially ahead of systems that merely increased agent quantity. In additional scenarios, proper configuration boosted results by 3%, while incorrect setup actually degraded performance by 15%. Configuration design proves crucial. Mass discovered that agent arrangements like debate or executor functioned exceptionally, while, while alternatives like reflect or summarize actually hindered performance. This is why Mass doesn't simply add more agents to problems. It selects appropriate ones, provides optimal instructions, and connects them most effectively. Furthermore, 
AMA SS offers modularity. You can introduce new agents, modify roles, and implement it across various fields. Whether debugging software, constructing step-by-step -step logical sequences, or gathering information from multiple sources. Essentially, Google's mass enhances AI. Systems not through blind expansion, but by optimizing their thinking and collaboration methods. It's comparable to advancing from a group of intelligent individuals to a championship-caliber team, all without requiring detailed oversight of every. Action. This transformation extends beyond research facilities. It's already reshaping employment markets. As systems like Mass make AI teams more intelligent and autonomous, companies are reducing positions that can be automated. This explains why Microsoft, Amazon, and Google have eliminated thousands of jobs while simultaneously creating new roles. Specifically for individuals who understand this AI evolution people who can collaborate with agents, construct workflows, and remain relevant in a world where AI systems optimize themselves. Open AIs, OFU Pro. The new benchmark in AI reasoning OpenAI has just unveiled their most capable model to date, O3 Pro. This represents an enhanced version of the O3 reasoning model. Initially launched in April, now becoming available to ChatGPT Pro and teen subscribers, enterprise and educational users will receive access within a week, and developers can already utilize it through the API. The cost structure stands at $20 per million input tokens and $80 per million output tokens. Certainly expensive, but this system delivers exceptional performance. According to OpenAI, O3 Pro surpasses all their previous creations, including the already remarkable O3. Reviewers universally rate it superior across every evaluation category encompassing science. Education, business writing, and programming essentially all demanding applications. It demonstrates higher scores for clarity, precision, instruction compliance, and thoroughness. However, there's a compromise. It operates somewhat slower than O1 Pro. You receive enhanced quality, but generation requires additional time. O3 Pros. Distinctiveness extends beyond text performance. It can examine files, conduct web searches, analyze visual content, and execute Python code. It includes memory capabilities for personalized experiences, though it's not flawless. Temporary conversations are currently unavailable while they resolve technical problems. It cannot create images and doesn't yet integrate with Canvas. Collaborative AI environment OpenAI has been developing. Regarding benchmarks, this model excels dramatically. On the AIM 2024 examination, mathematics test measuring advanced reasoning, O3 Pro outperformed Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro. It also surpassed Anthropics Claude for Opus on GPQA Diamond, a doctoral level science benchmark. While attention focuses on O3 Pro, Sam Altman confirmed that OpenAI's first open-source model in years faces delays. Originally anticipated sometime in June, he now states it will arrive later this summer. According to him, the team discovered something unexpected that justifies the postponement. No additional details provided. Just anticipation for now. Regarding Altman, he's been discussing something far more significant. In a recent blog post, he stated, We've already crossed the threshold of superintelligence. This indicates a, I isn't merely improving, it has entered a new phase. He believes we're experiencing the early stages of the singularity, not the chaotic, science fiction version, but what he calls a gradual singularity, a steady, manageable progression toward digital superintelligence. He supported this with substantial statistics. As of May 2025, ChatGPT serves 800 million weekly active users, nearly a billion.
people depending on it weekly for everything from programming and content development to serious business and research activities. Altman even stated that code. Writing will be permanently transformed after this year, projecting further developments ahead. By 2026, he anticipates AI systems will begin producing genuine new discoveries. And by 2027, we might see practical robots capable of handling tasks independently. However, he carefully acknowledges the risks even minor misalignments in AI. Behavior, when scaled to hundreds of millions of users, could generate significant problems. This is why he advocates for serious global discussions immediately on guiding powerful AI development. He emphasizes avoiding centralized control, ensuring these systems align with humanity's long-term objectives and determining which values should actually influence the AI we're constructing. Amid all this progress, OpenAI continues facing legal challenges. They're currently appealing a federal court directive in a lawsuit from the New York Times, which requires preserving all user data, including deleted conversations. OpenAI considers this excessive and maintains focus on protecting user privacy. Meters. Superintelligence Gambit. Zuckerberg's bold new direction as OpenAI advances deeper into superintelligence territory. Meta is executing its own significant maneuver. Mark Zuckerberg now personally directs this effort, establishing a brand new AI research facility with one objective. Superintelligence, not merely Aggie, but the subsequent level beyond it. He's not approaching this quietly. He's restructuring. The company's complete AI framework to accomplish this goal. The cornerstone of this new laboratory is Alexander Wang, the 28-year-old scale AI founder. Meta has engaged in substantial discussions to invest billions in scale AI, not only to secure Wang himself, but to recruit additional key talent from his team. This represents a strategic power play, accompanied by enormous compensation packages. Meta reportedly offers seven- to nine-figure packages to leading researchers from OpenAI, Google, and other major competitors. Several have already committed. The motivation behind this initiative is clear. Meta has struggled to maintain pace internal. Conflicts, failed product launches, and departing top talent have all created obstacles. However, Zuckerberg's vision remains unchanged since ChatGPT disrupted the industry in 2022. He's been integrating AI throughout Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, even smart glasses. Now, with over a billion people using Meta AI monthly, he wants the company leading again. This isn't Meta's initial A initiative. In 2013, after losing the opportunity to acquire DeepMind, Zuckerberg established the company's first dedicated AI laboratory. Since then, Meta's chief AI scientist, Yan LeCun, one of Deep Learning's pioneers, has directed research. But LeCun maintains a different perspective from Silicon Valley's mainstream. He's unconvinced we're approaching Aggie, believing reaching it requires a completely new methodology. Now Zuckerberg hopes Wang will drive that breakthrough. Scale AI, after all, provided the data labeling foundation used by OpenAI, Microsoft, and others. They created the tools that trained the current AI generation. Meta is now wagering that the same individual who helped others succeed in the AI competition might help them win the next phase. Meta is also proceeding strategically, with regulators already monitoring them closely. This potential scale A arrangement is being structured carefully, possibly to prevent triggering another antitrust investigation. The question that defines our future have we officially crossed into territory we cannot retreat from. The developments we're witnessing self-optimizing AI teams, models achieving doctoral level performance, and tech giants racing toward Superintelligence suggests we're at an unprecedented inflection point in human history. Google's mass framework, 
demonstrates that eye systems can now enhance themselves without human intervention. OpenAI's O3 Pro shows these systems are reaching expert-level capabilities across multiple domains. Sam Altman's declaration of entering the gentle singularity isn't just marketing, it reflects. A fundamental shift in how AI development is accelerating. Meanwhile, Meta's massive investment in superintelligence research, led by recruiting Alexander Wang from Scale AI, shows that the competition isn't just about current capabilities, it's about who will define the future of human eye eye interaction. These aren't isolated developments, they represent converging trends that suggest we're approaching something unprecedented. AI systems that can improve themselves, coordinate autonomously, and potentially exceed human capabilities across virtually every domain. The question isn't whether this transformation is coming, it's whether we're prepared for what comes next. As these systems become more powerful and autonomous, the decisions made today about their development, alignment, and deployment will shape the trajectory of human civilization. We're not just witnesses to technological progress. We're participants in a defining moment that will determine whether artificial superintelligence becomes humanity's greatest achievement or its most dangerous creation. The race is on, and the stakes have never been higher.